Today we want to talk about Secret Life of Pets. It's really a movie, and you should definitely see it. I really like um, Max because he waits for Kay all day. Oh, I miss her so much. Snowbell is the funniest character. Just ignore what just happened, okay? Because he uses carrots to do everything. He uses carrots to, to make a key. So he eats the carrots and he carves them into a shape. There's a sausage part that was so funny. They saw like all these sausages they were hula dancing and he ate one of the heads off. Oh. And I was like, dun, 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 dun. there was a sausage party. Wait, wait, wait what? I get to your life with that 48 bones. Let's hear what the creative tiger said. The Capital Times say there's not much in the way of plot, characterizations, or most fatally, emotion. It has the best characters and so much emotion. Christianity Today complains there is no message, meaning, or moral. Nobody even makes a speech about believing in yourself or the importance of friendship. I already believe in myself, so why do I need a moral? The Spectator says the six-year-old loved it, which would count for something, if only it did. That's kind of mean to kids that are that old. I'm six-year-old and I count for something. The San Diego Reader calls it hot dog filler. I think that critic's full of something. Slant Magazine labels it the chaos of an id given free reign. I don't know what that means and I don't think he knows what that means. The Chicago Daily Herald says it glorifies bullying and teaches kids that violence can solve problems quickly and efficiently. I'm gonna beat that crit up! Listen up, crit! See the Life of the Pets was the best movie i ever seen. I watch a billion hours of TV a week, so I think I know what I'm talking about. Make sure to like and subscribe. See you next time!